Welcome back, folks, to the studio. You know I failed to uh, show you a great example in that previous video, number 23, how I uh, dish out my art supplies before I'm ready to work. So these are the uh, Fat Boy Centelier and RF pigment. These are RF pigments. These are made in upstate New York, Kingston, New York. The Centelliers are French oil bars or fat oil pastel. And all of these have a great buttery consistency and the content of the color is unreal. I've put links at previous videos. Uh, I can't think of the number right now. But if you go through uh, all the postings there you'll 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 see the information and then I have these other fat guys and then I use the real fat guys right here this is an RF pigment believe it or not this bar is almost $29 so art supplies are expensive good ones you need good ones and then here's more oil bars. I drown in art supplies, but I love them. It's food. Color is food. Remember that. Feed yourself color and heed your head. Who said that? I forget. Gray Slick. Uh, and then I keep my whites in a separate container here so they don't get pick up color from the other colored items. These are all oil pastels. Then I keep my blacks and grays in another container so they don't get all messed up. And then I have my little center layers I keep in a separate box and the consistency of these are pretty incredible and these go on like butter as well. But they're very expensive. I keep them separate there, anywhere from $3.95 up to $6, depending on the color pigment. Um, and then these are another brand Neo Pastel and Van Gogh. And these are quite good consistency. They're a little more of a higher brand, a little more expensive. The Neo Pastels made by another French company, uh, Carandache. So I keep these separate because the quality of the oil pastel or oil bar I use, they also come in at different phases. I may not use the most expensive uh, materials in the beginning phase. Then I have these Fat Boy pencils. These are by uh, Schwann Stabilo. These are made in Germany. These are great. This is a very nice waxy content. And it also blends and complements the oil pastels. And uh, you need these. I mean, I have just tons of new boxes of these just to, just to be ready. And then I love these. These are called Lyra. This is another product made in Germany. It's a fat pencil. And this lead in here is a nice waxy consistency. And it blends as well. And then, you know, you all have seen my tried and true and tested China markers. These are my China markers and these I tend to do my outlines and I can also uh, use a white china marker and this blends nicely and all these take to uh, what is called Gamsol a thinner and that creates my base patina which I'm going to show you a little sample and they also blend very nicely with this product called RF blending medium with dryer and you always see me dipping into this and this is a nice waxy 
consistency with a dryer and some linseed oil and that does magic with all these supplies I've showed you it just it's a godsend and you really need it if you're going down the path that uh, you like when you see my work and um, what else oh and I also said I keep my colors separated so these are my warm colors they, these are the red yellows pinks oranges I don't want these mixing because you know colors get on the sides of these and sometimes other colors and they can come off onto your piece of artwork and I've created some mistakes that way so that's the warm box of colors and then here's the cool box of colors my blues greens chartreuses deep dark blues uh, cobalts whatever so whatever rubs off on these in this box I don't care they're all in the same family so there you go that's basically how I work and when you're working with the uh, these cadmium colors you want to have the gloves sometimes I forget but cadmium is quite a powerful and toxic uh, medium but the color from cadmium is unreal this is a green malachite this is beautiful this is a cadmium too I need gloves for this stuff so these are the fatter fat boys for my big wall paintings here is a celadon green and these I keep in the plastic tubes keep them fresh these are very expensive these are all close to 25 19 to 25 dollars each maybe more um, and I'm ready to start another piece here and you can see how all this stuff has been laid down this is just my base layer so this is probably represents a few, couple hours work and just reflection and right now it means nothing to me but I'm gonna start carving into here and pull out what abstraction is talking to me so you're gonna see all these mediums applied to this when I start working on this I think I will uh, do a hyperlapse and then also segue this video into it and then this is on a stretch canvas 12 by 16 another trick I do let me show you just a second I keep uh, water in the studio this little cup of water and I dip my fingers in there and I throw it to the back of this canvas or you I have a spray bottle but I don't have it here but this works just as well and I try to get a little moisture on the back of this because this will tighten up the canvas like a drum and it becomes a little easier to work with so and then I tap it get the water spread around there we go nice that's what I want so I hope you enjoyed this quick piece and uh, definitely stay tuned for when I start the hyperlapse uh, working on this maybe uh, this is my project for Super Bowl Sunday go Niners <laughs>